This is Jeff Evans reporting for Global Medical News Network at the International Congress on Gait and Mental Function in Washington. What do you get when you capture the falls of older adults on video rather than rely on self-report? You get a whole lot of new data about how older adults fall and the circumstances in which they occur. Using 270 video cameras in the common areas of two long-term care facilities in British Columbia, Stephen Rabinovich and his colleagues analyzed falls over a two-year period. Two of the things that we were interested in were um, what was the cause of the fall and what was the activity at the time of the fall. And uh, you know, previous evidence that we had on this um, from self-report really uh, suggested that trips and slips are the most common causes of falls and uh, the most common activity was, is walking. So we sort of hypothesized, well, that, that is true in, in also long-term care. Uh, but among the 184 falls that we analyzed, we found a pretty different picture. Uh, the most common cause of falls was what we called incorrect weight shifting, or you know, shifting of body weight or transferring. That accounted for 51% of all falls. Trips were the next most common uh, at 22%, um, but um, slips were only about 3% of falls. Um, also, being hit or bumped was fairly common at about 20%. So that, so that was one thing that surprised us, just that it's, it's not trips and slips as much as incorrect weight transfer. So, so previous stu studies suggested that most falls occurred during, during walking. Um, and, and we found that, uh, in, in fact, there were four activities that were equally common. Walking was one of them. Um, initiation of walking was one. Sitting down was one. And this was surprising, just quiet stance, just, just standing quietly. So um, in this population of older adults living in long-term care, uh, the, the, the frequency of falls while just standing quietly was statistically just as common as while forward walking. So uh, that, that is important in terms of um, you know, thinking about assessment techniques and interventions. This has been Jeff Evans for GMNN.